Hi, hi. It's the tiny one slash species. And I decided to do another con positive video. And um, this video that I decided to do today is of Yaya Han, who is a world renowned, well, I think she's world renowned, um, cosplayer. Anyways, um, like I've said before in previous videos, uh, I know that some of these people that I might have had positive experiences with, you might have not. But if you haven't, then please do not post your bad stories or whatever that you've had with this particular person because they will be deleted. Just letting you know right now. This little segment that I've been doing is positive for a reason, okay? If you have positive stories, then please post them. Otherwise, no, I will delete them because that's not what we're doing here, all right? Anyways, as I'm sure a lot of you have um, have seen, is I originally saw Yaya Han at um, during when Sci-Fi had the Heroes of Cosplay going on, and. The reason why I watched Heroes of Cosplay is because it was older cosplayers who were going out and they were making their own costumes, making their own props, styling their wigs, you know, going through all this blood, sweat, and tears that I've seen a lot of teenagers go through, but yet they were adults. And then they were going out and they were having fun, they were getting their photo taken, and they were meeting fans, and it was exactly what... I want it to do. And it made me real happy to watch the episodes. Now I know now that the series is over uh, and I've seen some of these other cosplayers who, you know, they said that it was a horrible, you know, it was bad experience in a lot of cases because um, the producers or whatever wanted to make a show. And of course, if you're going to make a reality show like this, it's going to be, you need to add drama or else it gets boring and people lose interest. You know how it is. And, but the problem is they were going about making drama in the wrong way and they were splicing footage to make certain people say certain things that they didn't mean to say or, um, fighting with other people who they're friends with, that sort of thing. And so little teeny tiny disagreements would turn into big blowups <clears throat> when we were watching them. <coughs> and that wasn't a good thing. And I've seen foot videos afterwards from some of these other cosplayers apologizing for what went on. And it now that it make now it makes me feel bad for what they went through. But, I was happy that at least it gave me the experience of knowing who she was, her, what her cosplays were, that sort of thing. Anyways, um, it was uh, 2015 and she was going to attend the winter convention that I was going to be attending. And I knew that w one of her well-known costumes it was a character that I really liked, and that was C2 from Code Geass. And I knew her, uh, I knew she had made C2's red dress. And it was this beautiful, if you've never seen it before, it's this beautiful red dress, like a ball gown, and then the, um, the skirt part is really poofy and billowy, and, you know, it's, I love it. Seriously, if I could get someone to commission that for me, or if I could buy it, I would. Hint, hint to all you people who commission. Um, anyways. So, yeah. Um, now, I hadn't planned on being C2. I was thinking of doing uh, Lelouch, which I do cosplay Lelouch. But, I had originally bought Admin Grell a C2 outfit so that um, Admin Grell could be my C2 when I did Lelouch. And that was the original plan. You know, this is even before we knew Yaya was going to be there. Uh, unfortunately, even though I measured 
admin grub properly and even added an inch, you know, all up to all the measurements, it still came out extremely tight. And I was afraid when admin grub sat down that it was going to rip. That's how tight it was. And so it gets taken off and given to me to see if it fits me. And it does. The only problem is the sleeves are long. They're too too long. But I kind of like the flowy, you know, sleeves down here type stuff. It seemed to work for me. I couldn't do the belts, but nobody seemed to care. Um, the only thing was I'm really short. I don't know if I said in previous videos, but I'm 4'7". And I'm not going to grow anymore. In fact, as I grow older, I might shrink. That's what I'm afraid of. But, yeah, so, I had the, um, the, can't talk, the legs, uh, hemmed by mom, by my mom, and it worked out just perfectly. So, um, Admin Girl and I had planned to meet Yaya Han on Friday, uh, the first day of the convention. Unfortunately, he, I wasn't able to meet Yaya with admin grill. So I figured, eh, I can just bring admin grill to meet her later. I'm in line, and I start to get nervous, I think. She does these beautiful, elaborate costumes, and then there's me. And I start to feel frumpy, and I start to feel ugly, stupid, and wondering, what am I doing here, you know? And I actually almost got out of line, and I, I almost said, forget it. I can't, I can't do this. But something had me stay in line. And I stayed in line and I got to the front line. I greet her and this was her autograph slash photography little booth that she had in the vendor's hall. And I start to say that how much I admired her um, because she was an older cosplayer and that she was an inspiration to me because I had seen all these younger people you know, all these teenagers cosplaying, and I had actually been told by other teenagers um, that they knew I was, you know, I'm not going to say how old I was. Please don't find out. I would be mad. But I had actually been told by younger cosplayers that I should leave the cosplaying to them, and that I was too old and I should do something else. And that really hurts. Because, to be honest, it should be for everybody, not just them. And so when I'm talking to her, and I say that she's such an inspiration to me, being an older cosplayer, <laughs> what I didn't expect is to start tearing up. And I'm an emotional person. Yeah, anybody who knows me knows I get emotional. And I start to get emotional. And I'm trying not to cry. And the more I'm trying not to cry, the more I want to cry. And poor thing, she sees me getting all worked up in the state. She doesn't care about the line of people behind her or behind me. And she just reaches out and gives me this hug. Now, I live in a world of the tall people. And I am a small person. So when I meet another small person, and Yaya is small, it makes me very happy. And so here I am, getting embraced and getting comforted as quickly as possible, because I knew I had to pull myself together, by this cosplay idol. I don't want to say senpai, because I know a lot of people don't like being called senpai, but <clears throat> I really, really admired her. and. She's having to comfort me. And somehow I managed to quickly pull myself together and I thank her. And, you know, I said, hey, can I get a photo? She said, sure. She tells me she loves my C2 outfit and she loves C2 as a character. Somehow I managed to take a photo and I'm smiling and I don't look like I had a breakdown. And it made my day. Later on, I was able to grab Admin Grill. I said, come, let's go meet Yaya. We're going to meet Yaya, and of course, Yaya likes his outfit too. And uh, I think Admin Grill was uh, 
uh, da, 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 da. he was home, a Homestuck character. Uh, oh, the signless. He was the signless. And she likes Emma Grohl's costume, takes a photo with Emma Grohl. And actually, I think I have a photo of it too. And while uh, Emma Grohl had grabbed a photo for her to sign, and while she's signing, I was able to finally get out what I had wanted to tell her about how much I admired her and I loved cosplaying, but I got discouraged. And she looks at me and she says, you know what? She's like, if you love doing what you're doing, then keep doing it. And don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Because in the end, it's you, not them, that's going to be doing this. You know, and she says, those type of people are going to come and they're going to go in your life and, and nobody is going to like what you do. There's always going to be someone that's going to hate whatever you do. It doesn't matter. It could be, you know. She, she didn't quite say this, but I know. And I understood what she meant. You know, it's true. And this is, goes out to you guys, too. You know, there's, if you get discouraged for doing something, just know that there are always going to be people that are going to like what you do. And there's always going to be people that hate what you do. It could be petting cats. It could be, um like in Star Wars. It could be reading books. You know, stupid stuff like that. People could hate you for reading books. You know, they could say, oh, that's so old-fashioned. You know, now we have Kindles and all this. Or we have um, Audible. No. Keep doing what you're doing. You know, of course, within reason, no killing people or anything like that. Um, but you understand what I mean. You know, cosplay, writing, making movies, reading, that sort of thing. Keep doing what you're doing. But yeah, I I walked away with a real positive experience. I got a hug from Yaya Han and a photo and a compliment, along with words of encouragement. And that made my con I had had bad, a bad experience the next day, and what helped me through is remembering what she had said, and I can feel the, emo I can hear the emotion in my voice as I'm telling it, because it was just, it's still so strong with me, even a year, over a year later, but yeah, that was my positive Yaya Han story. And I know you're probably looking at this water. It is not blood. It is... I thought I would be needing this to take a drink. But it's this. That I got from one of my trucker friends. Because he knows I can't drink water without some sort of flavoring. Because to me it's gross. And my sister also got me this. Isn't that cool? I will try to remember to place the link to where I got these shirts. If I can remember. But anyways, yep. That's my long, it's going to be 14 minutes, uh, Yaya Han story for my con positive story for the day. Uh, like I said, if you have any positive experiences with her, please post them below in either the YouTube channel replies or my Facebook reply, Facebook comments. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, or on Facebook, give it a like. Please subscribe to these videos so you can hear more con stories, boxing videos, blah, 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 all that stuff. You know, stuff that cosplayers do, you'll get it. And also, if you look down in the description box and you click see more, then you'll get to see other social media that myself and Admin Grill are on both separately and together, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff for you to look at, so anyways, thanks for listening, I hope you hold out so long, it's going to be 15 months, oh my god, anyways, talk to you later, bye, I'm sure I bored you all to death, I'm sorry, love you, yeah, yeah, I'm sure you'll probably not see this for a while,